Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Warimai First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Sorry I didn't make it back yesterday. Uh, yeah, the day just got, a, got away on me. So entertainment only. What I'm going to have a look first up is probably the story of the day is that, uh, let's have a look, Judge Engoron who is uh, the judge that's overseeing the uh, New York Attorney General, Letitia James, is case um, in New York. It's a civil uh, civil case about uh, fraud. It's a fraudulent suit being brought by the New York Attorney General against Trump. So what's happened is Judge Ingeron has uh, uh, passed down a ruling, summary judgment, resolving six of the uh, claims and uh, basically resolving them in the favour of Letitia James. So I want to have a look about how splitting my deck. We've got endings, significant endings and poor choices made in the past, choices of greed, um, uh, addiction, uh, vanity, blah, 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 you name it. So that's been brought down now. The Letitia James case itself is uh, taking place, I believe it's the is it 2nd of October, so that or that's only a couple of days away. Trump, in the meantime, has pleaded not guilty for the Georgia case. And as I split the deck again, we've got the significant endings, the, the trampling under and downfall of the king, in regards to lies and stealing. So using my trip and wait tarot, for those that are not aware, uh, you have to be under a rock <laughs> not to be aware. Uh, uh, the Letitia James oh, starts on the 2nd of October. There you go. I had written it down. Is in regards to um, fraud, uh, frauding the state of New York, frauding the IRS, um, frauding the banks, you name it. So I have put a, oh, and this is what's flipped out again as I was shuffling, the the, the fraud, the lies, the stealing of the truth. Um, so I have put a link to uh, this ruling by Judge Ingeron in my community page. So pop over there and have a look. But I just want to see, starting shortly, now uh, Trump's, Lawyers, defence lawyers, uh, lodged a claim. I don't know if it's been resolved. So let me if it was, let me know. I think it has. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be moving forward. Uh, put in a claim that um, uh, because Ivanka wasn't supposed to be named or something like that. It was just a very petty, petty claim in an attempt to merely delay the case. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, DOJ is here. Hmm, DOJ is here. Okay, how is this case going to go for Donald Trump? Trump Org, I'm really feeling this is the uh, first step in dismantling Trump Org. Come on down, let's have a look. There's a happy dog there. <laughs> right. Ooh. Interesting first card. How's it going to go for Donald Trump? We're going to hear some news that is unexpected. I'll have a look at his health in a minute because I I really have a feeling that something's going to happen to his health in October. So I'll have a look in a minute. But we are going to have a, hear news of something unexpected. That is going to, and it's going to move forward really quickly. I don't think he's got a leg to stand on. Uh, the judge has already ruled in regards to six of the claims. In other words, guilty, guilty, guilty. It's going to move forward very quickly. At the foundation, uh, he's not going to like what is on offer. I'm asking from Donald Trump's point of view. Uh, I, okay. I was just given the word petulant. Uh, petulant, is that how you pronounce it? Like a, a spoiled brat of a child who says, I don't want to, so therefore I won't type thing. So let's see where this goes. In the past, the infighting, the throwing under the bus, you've got to remember that his, um, 
His accountant uh, is already serving time. There are others that were involved that are already serving time. They've already dished the doo-doo on him. Uh, so this is literally in the past the, the information being, being provided uh, that cannot be argued against, but it still is the infighting bickering. Crowning this reading is Trump org itself. Uh, the intergenerational money, Trump org itself. Goodness me, if I was given half a billion dollars as an inheritance, I'm sure I could do a lot better with it, but let's have a look. Full illumination in the immediate future, full exposure. He's going to find himself completely exposed. Ooh, that's a, not a pleasant thought. Externally, uh, the financial independence. The well, it's a it's a money case. Uh, his gilded cage with the money, thinking that his money's going to protect him, and he's not listening to the advice that he's been given. Uh, this peregrine here is uh, hooded and jessied, and he's not listening to the advice he's been given internally for him, wheeling and dealing, trying to make agreements and contracts. Hopes and fears, uh, well, this figure's sitting in front of a swamp. It has two options, two paths in which to choose a difficult decision. Needs to take the aviator glasses off, the sunglasses off, and make a decision about which truth they're going to follow. Okay, here's Trump himself, the outcome, the King of Pentacles. Trump, as he sees himself as the businessman. The truth being packed up and moved forward. He is actually quite anxious about this. He's been trying to, I'd be interested to know, in Australia with our tax office, oh boy, don't get on the wrong side of the Australian tax office, you're guilty until proven innocent. Um, they have the ability to claw back assets that have been transferred. I'd be interested to know if the IRS has the same. Uh, yeah, he's. He's at not sleeping in regards to this. This is moving forward with the truth, but I'm really drawn to the hooded figure here. So he's trying to move forward his own truth, but there's a lot of anxiety about this because there is an insider whistleblower that is going to bring forward uh, information and in regards to financial corruption, financial corruption, and he's going to find himself financially decimated by this Trump org. I do see Trump org going down. Okay, we've got the strength card, but here is my Letitia James card. There is strength on what Letitia James is bringing forward that is going to bring about a tower moment for Trump. Uh, and here we have the wounded and having to buy the truth and having to retreat, but it's also the ill health card. So I'm going to have a look at a little bit further. There was no, I'm, uh, it's a civil case. It's not, a, I don't think he can go to prison in regards to this. I'll have a look with Trump Hall. I'll have a look with Trump Hall. So what's going to happen with Trump Hall in regards to this case? What's going to happen in regards to Trump or regards to this civil fraud case that starts on the 2nd of October? What are we looking at? Five days, is it? Five, six days? How many, how many days in? What are we in September? 30 days, half September. Yes, uh, five days. Okay, let's have a look. Six days probably in US time. Let's have a look. How's this going to go for Trump org? Calm down. Ooh, abuse of power, not good. Abuse of power, being seen for what it is, self sabotage, uh, and the, you've got these figures that are just saying, "I'm, I'm not dealing with this anymore. See you later." Challenge to buy the Page of Wands, similar to the uh, Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is the whistleblower, but this is more of a articulate orator bringing forward a message. Trump Org, yeah. 
secrets that are going to be brought to the surface and revealed. It may take a little bit of time in this case, but it is secrets being brought to the surface and revealed. In the past, a lot of negative headlines coming very quickly, and I'm going to say actually a lot of court cases for him coming very quickly. Uh, how's it going to go for Trump? Or there is volatile information that is going to be brought forward. Uh, and here, same position. Bull, he's going to find, Trump Org is going to be fully exposed. Fully exposed. Find itself fully exposed. Externally, in regards to Trump Org, there is strength in the case that is being brought against it. The Knight of Cups internally. Ah, false Knight bringing an offer, an offer being made. What are we having in regards? I might pull a clarifier in regards to the Knight of Cups. But Trump is Trump all going to try and enter a plea deal? Okay, let's see where this goes. Hopes and fears, literally the money dripping through its fingers. It's the fool's gold card. Outcome again, we've got the big stick, new beginning, or just a, a big stick information coming forward. Trump Org's going to find itself itself burdened under all this information that is being supplied. Those that were caught up, I'm going to say Trump, and um, we've got emotionally there. I'm wondering whether this is the three siblings, Ivanka, Don, and Eric. Let's see where this goes. Their foolishness, literally walking off the cliff, rushing connections here and a harsh truth coming forward. Russian-Saudi connections and fortunes are changing in regards to this harsh truth. On the base, reaping what they sow in regards to their poor choices, their greedy choices. This is Trump all uh, going to find its back up against the wall and the light being shone on the, in regards to this investigation. I'm just going to have a look at this Knight of Cups. Is internally for Trump or are they going to attempt to make a plea deal? You might do Trump's health in a different reading. Are the Trump or, because you've got to remember this is Trump or not so much Trump himself. Is Trump all, I mean, it is just the first of many cases that are going to come in regards to this, but is Trump all going to do a, attempt a plea deal? That's a yes. Now, this, uh, I know uh, this is technically the victory card, but I'm always drawn to the fact that the figures in the background are looking very uncomfortable. So uh, this is in front. This is in regards to the information that's been revealed in an attempt to um, hold on to some of the assets, but it's a tightrope that they're, they're going through, and they're going to find themselves with a back up against the wall because this is all going to come be revealed. All this swamp is going to be revealed and face judgment. Again, again, on the base, we've got Letitia here, the Attorney General. Her plan, the plan is coming to fruition, but this is also looking overseas. There's overseas evidence that's coming forward, a harsh truth, a whistleblower, uh, and real anxiety in regards to poor, greedy choices that were made. And then we have justice coming down for what occurred in the past and a tower moment. And I'm going to call this my judge, Ingeron, here. Yeah, it's not looking good. There are secrets that that they that Trump Org wants kept hidden. In regards to mercenary actions, it's going to be brought forward. They're going to have to reap what they have sowed. Like, this is what they did. This was these poor choices they made, and they're going to have to face the music. 
They're going to find the information that comes out really difficult to try and spin and we've got the sword of truth coming forward. So this particular case, it, it is the first of many, so take heart in that. Um, yeah, it's not looking good. I think they're going to try and, and spin a plea deal, but I think it's going to work for them because there's too much information. Okay, thank you for joining me. Loved you all. Catch you shortly.